Tigers taking on the Indians before the game. Jim Leland showing he still has some pep in the step, showing a Michael Jackson impersonator how to do the moonwalk. To baseball, Scott Casimir on the hill for Cleveland, pitching with a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the second. Omar Infante changes that with a three-run homer, his eighth of the season. And just like that, the Tigers are on top. It's 3-1 Detroit. Anibal Sanchez on the hill for Detroit, pitching with a 4-2 lead in the sixth. A runner on third with two outs. He gets as Jobel Cabrera to pop out to Brian Pena. That ends the inning, stranding the runner. Bottom half of the frame, Infante at it again, this time with one man on against Brian Shaw. Driven in the air, deep into left field. That ball is up there, it is back, and it is gone. He did it one more time. Infante's second home run of the night. A two-run shot. Tough break there for Michael Brantley. Almost able to make the great catch. Instead, it's a two-run homer that gives Detroit a 6-2 lead. Infante ties a career high with five ribbies. Top seven, Jan Gomes with a two-out solo shot off of Sanchez. His ninth of the season that cuts into the Detroit lead and makes it a 6-3 game. Top of the eighth, Jose Veras deals to Carlos Santana with the man on second who crushes one to center. Austin Jackson going back, leaping at the wall, and he can't make the catch. He keels over in some pain. Jason Kipnis comes around to score. The Tigers take a while to get the ball in as Jackson still hunched over, and Santana legs out a two-run inside the park home run, making it a 6-5 game. Jackson hurt his wrist on the wall trying to make the catch, but he would stay in the game and look no worse for wear in the bottom of the eighth with two men on against Matt Albers. And it's driven toward the gap in left center field. It's going to get down and go to the wall. This will get two runs in. Perez scores. Santiago scores. It's a triple for Jackson. Jackson makes it 8-5. Next batter, Jose Iglesias, drops down the suicide squeeze bunt. Jackson scores. The Tigers go up 9-5. Detroit would win 10-5. They have 15 wins over the Indians this season, which is the most in one year since 1960. And they win their seventh in a row against Cleveland without the services of slugger Miguel Cabrera, who sat out Saturday's game with an abdominal strain. Six different Tigers register multi-hit games in the win.